Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab. If you're new, my name is Jodi. Thank you for joining me today. Today I was experimenting with the Becca by Chrissy Teigen palette. This is the face palette that has four products inside. I picked mine up from Ulta Beauty and this is the box that it came in. There's a message from Becca and Chrissy Teigen on the back and then the ingredients for each of the products. There are a total of 15 grams in the palette and this is what the palette looks like. The front is sort of a jelly material and the sides are a metallic rose gold. When you open up the palette, you do have a very, very large mirror and then your shades are here. Now of the shades, uh, two of them are face highlighters. This one is the brand new shade to the palette. It's called Beach Nectar. And this one is a highlighter that is existing to the Becca line and it is in the shade Rose Gold. The two face powders, one is a bronzer in the shade Malibu Soleil and this one is a blush in the shade Hibiscus Bloom. So all of these three shades are brand new and exclusive to the palette for now and the Rose Quartz shade was uh, Chrissy Teigen's favorite highlight from the existing line and so that's why it's in here. I did want to sort of get a good first impression of the palette so I went ahead and I used all of the products in the palette. I used them to create the eye look that I'm wearing today as well as my blush bronzer and highlight. And this is the look that I came up with. I will have a demo at the end of the video if you're interested in seeing that. But as far as my thoughts for the palette, I personally was never interested in the Becca Rose Gold highlight. I just found it a little bit too dark for my skin tones, so I was never really drawn to that as a shade. What really attracted me to this palette was the Beach Nectar highlight, and that one did not disappoint. That's the one I elected to wear, and it is the Becca formula. It is creamy, it is not shimmery, it does not emphasize texture, and it goes on so, so smoothly. I really, really like that shade. They do say that it's exclusive to the palette, but they have said that before, so I don't know. I think it's worth it just for that highlight alone. Now, usually a Becca highlight is about $38, I believe. Let me get one for comparison. All right, so here is a regular Becca highlight for size comparison. This one happens to be Champagne Pop, and there's 8 grams of product in this highlighter, and it runs for $38. Now you can see that the, both the highlighters that you get in the palette are very, very nice size, even if they are not full size. I think it's very difficult to hit pan on a highlight, so those are very, very good sizes. The blush and the bronzer were nice. Um, I like them. But again, the one really standout item for me was the Beach Nectar shade. The blush and bronzer applied really well both as eyeshadows and as face powders. Personally, I probably would have had the blush and bronzer in the larger pan and the highlighters in the smaller pans because I think that you use more of those. But I know that this was intended to be a sort of a glow palette and so I understand why they chose it that way. It's just I, I can see myself quickly running out of the face powders and still having the highlights in here. Now, again, me personally, I don't care for the Rose Quartz shade, but because I like the other three products a lot, it is worth it for me. If they were to sell this highlight separately, then that would be the one product that I would buy and leave the others. So it's up to you to make your decision. I know that a lot of people have been comparing this to the Becca uh, by, uh, sorry. I know that a lot of people are comparing this to the Becca by Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm not going to do that. That palette is no longer available, so it's not like you could really choose between one or the other. This is the current option that you have to choose from. I think it's nice. I don't think that this is for lighter skin tones. I think that the highlights would be too dark. Um, the face powders might work for you if you go in with a light hand because they're very, very pigmented, but I don't think that they alone would be worth the price of the palette for you. If you have a deeper skin tone, I think that you will love the palette, actually. The highlights will both work for you. The bronzer, depending on how deep your skin tone might be, it may or may not work. But I think that these three powders would be excellent for you. So I think that this is a palette that's really best for medium to deeper skin tones. That would be my recommendation. 
So again, this is the one standout item. If they sold it alone, I would purchase it alone. Um, but the palette is beautiful, the packaging is beautiful, and as you could see the way I applied it, it's a, it's a nice multi-purpose palette since I was able to use it for both my eye and cheek look today. So those are my thoughts on the palette. Actually, uh, today they're launching the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Coco collection, and that one looks really similar to this. So I'm really, really curious to see how that one might match up because those are both available. Jaclyn Hill palette is no longer available unless you want to pay like $100 on eBay and yeah, I'm not allowed to do that. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please stand by so you can take a look at the demo and see how the products apply to the face. First, I'm going to try some swatches. So at the top you have the rose quartz, going down you have the blush and hibiscus bloom, the next one down is your bronzer, and the last one is the beach nectar highlight. The bronzer is called Malibu Soleil. Now I've actually never been intrigued by the rose quartz highlight, but I'm happy to have it in this palette. I'm going to go ahead and use it as an eyeshadow because I think it's going to be a little bit dark for my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first. So I'm going to use a MAC 213 brush and I'm going to put that rose quartz all over my lid. I'm going to apply it wet because I really want to achieve that metallic finish. Alright, now taking a small blending brush, I'm going to go into the blush in the shade Hibiscus Bloom and I'm going to apply that on the inner and outer corner. I'm using a MAC 221 brush for this. All right, and now using my MAC 224, I'm gonna go into that bronzer shade and just create a transition. I sort of did this look backwards Usually I start with the transition and then work my way in. But why not try something new, a little experiment. I'm just re-intensifying the pink. As well as the rose quartz in the middle so that I can emphasize that sort of halo look. I'm going to try to recreate the same on the lower lash line, but for this I'm going to start with the bronzer shade and place that all along the bottom. And then the pink hibiscus bloom and I'm focusing that on the inner and outer corners. And lastly I'm going to use a little bit of the rose quartz right in the center. I think I'm going to dampen my brush for this. The rose quartz, it's not really as intense as I would like it to be. So I'm going to try it with a MAC 242. Alright, and then for my brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm going to use the Beach Nectar. This shade seemed to pick up really, really well on this brush, so I'm going to add just a little bit right to the center of my lid for a little more dimension. Alright, so that's the finished eye look. I'm going to add a little bit of the NARS 
Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. And this one is sort of in a mint green shade. And I'm going to finish the look with a little bit of lower lash mascara. Alright, so that's the eye look. Now, the face powders, they're kind of small, so I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm using a small angle brush for this, and this one is by Coastal Scents. I'm going to try to pick up the bronzer. And just warm up my skin a little bit. It does pick up nicely on the brush. This brush is really not the best. It keeps shedding. For the blush, I'm going to pick it up on a duo fiber brush. This one is really pretty. I chose this brush because when I was using it as an eyeshadow, it was really pigmented and so I didn't want to overdo it. Alright, so I've sprayed my face with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to go into the Beached Nectar Highlight. Wow, that one is a really intense highlight. For my lips, I'm going to use this uh, Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Berlin. Alright, that's it for the finished look. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you enjoyed the review and my first impressions on the palette. Please let me know if you plan on picking up the palette or if you have already and what you think of it. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon on my next video. Bye!